Hello everyone. We we are discussing the instruction set of ARM 7. Hello everyone. We are discussing the instruction set of ARM 7 in the lectures. In the last lecture, we have discussed about the compare instructions of ARM 7 that is LPC 2148. We are using that processor and then uh, we have uh, solved a simple program by using your key uh, microvision software. And now uh, in this class, we are going to discuss about the load and store instructions of ARM 7. So coming to the load and store instructions of ARM 7, ARM 7 in ARM 7 or generally in ARM, Usually, the memory can be accessed only by using your load and store instructions. Okay, load and store instructions. So, now uh, as I said, by using your load and store instructions, we can access your memory in terms of your ARM 7. And uh, accessing in the memory in the sense, uh, you can load your data inside your memory or from the memory, you can... Uh, uh, take the data outside your memory ok. Huh? So, loading your data inside your memory uh, or storing your data in, uh, from the, storing the data from the memory or retrieving the data from the memory can be used uh, can be done by using your load and store instructions. So, uh, single register instructions uh, such as LDR load register load register in the sense load your register from the memory content that is the meaning. This instruction you are already familiar well uh, we have dealt with your uh, uh, addressing modes uh, this instruction we have used ok. So, load register and store register load register is used for loading the register content from the memory similarly store register is used for storing the register content into the memory into the memory and uh, this content may be a byte ok you may uh, load a byte or you may load a word or you may uh, a half word or a word ok half word or a word byte means b half word is h and word is generally because all the registers are 32 bit registers uh, so loading your register by 32 bit is uh, not a big deal. And similarly storing your register store what register content store your register content into your memory and uh, here also you can store your byte, you can store your half word and your word, your word. And uh, we have discussed already most of your uh, memory, uh, most of your memory can store only 8 bits. The uh, uh, commercially available uh, memory chips in the market, most of the memory chips can store uh, a byte of data means 8 bits of data, okay, 8 bits of data into it. So, use of load register instruction. So, loading the register instruction, see here, uh, as I said, you may load register in the sense, load your registers, uh, R0, R1, R2 or any of your registers, load this 32 bit register by a content. This content, uh, so the register may be 32 bit. So, uh, let me write it, uh, this is uh, for, this is first 8, second 8, third 8 and fourth 8. And the register may be 32 bits and you may uh, in the register you may uh, you may save a byte ok. You may even save a word or you may even save a uh, word in the sense uh, uh, you will be having here also data 0605 you may save a word and half word is nothing but uh, you may save only 07 and 08 ok. So, if you are saving a word or if you are loading the register with a word that is not an that is not going to be an issue because you are going to load all the 4 bytes of data into the register which is nothing but your 32 bits ok. So, when you are going to load a byte or a half word in the register in the register see here you will be if it is a half word uh, if it is a half word you will be using 1 byte and 2 bytes here and the rest of the 2 bytes ok 2 bytes is left free ok as of now you assume that it is left free and here uh, 3 bytes is left free ok 3 bytes is left free. So now so 2 bytes is left free 3 bytes is left free. So, if you are leaving this 2 bytes and 3 bytes are free means uh, in case of only the load register ok only in case of load register meaning load your register content from your memory ok load your register from your memory content ok in either way. So, 
if you are loading the instruction automatically if you are loading a half word or a, if you are loading a byte the whichever is left free the left free bytes it will be filled with either 0 meaning either 0 or 1 if you are filling it with all by 0 okay if you are filling the whichever byte is left free if you are filling it by 0 0 0 0 0 0 that is nothing but 0 extend for unsigned byte 0 so whichever bytes are left free if it is filled by 0 0 okay if it is filled uh, like for uh, unsigned uh, numbers unsigned number either it may be a byte unsigned byte or unsigned half word half word loads load uh, means load instruction load means load instruction for this unsigned byte or half word okay uh, for half word extended uh, zero operation is uh, will be there in your uh, it will be automatically done in your arm 7 meaning uh, the rest of the bytes uh, whichever is left free will be filled by zero will be preceded by zeros will be preceded by zeros and for the sign number we know that the most significant bit of any byte or a word or a half word will be used for representing your sign number for example if if any negative number if we are if we are representing it like this if any number is represented by like this let it be a, a byte okay let it be a byte uh, so byte load let it be a byte load so automatically uh, byte load means this is a byte right so the rest three bytes are there uh, these three bytes the preceded bits will be filled by all ones because this is your signed uh, byte this is your signed byte okay so automatically sign extension will be done when you do your load instruction when you go ahead with your load instruction in case of your load instruction whereas uh, that is not an issue for the store instruction because you are going to store the data into your memory into the memory whatever data inside your 32 bit uh, data inside your register that is what you are going to load it inside your memory uh, this uh, uh, zero extend and signed extend operation holds good only for your load instruction that too for your single register instructions okay single register instructions and the general classification of load stored instructions are you have a three general classification one is your single register transfer instruction single register transfer is instruction meaning by using only any one of the registers any one of the register from r not to r12 r not to r12 r not to r11 r12 okay uh, any of the registers can be used for transferring the data from the, from the memory into the register or from the register into the data. Only one register will be used. Meaning if you are using only one register for memory transfer or transferring the data inside your memory or vice versa. And uh, uh, in such a case you can transfer a byte, a half word or a word. Okay, you can transfer a byte, half word or a word. So, the second classification is, see here, if you want to transfer a data, okay, if you want to transfer a data uh, from the register into the memory, you can transfer either a byte of data, either a, a half word of data or a word of data or a word of data, a word of data, okay. But here, in case of your multiple load store instruction, block transfer is possible block transfer is possible block transfer is in the sense uh, either 10 bytes of data or 10 half words or 10 word as a lump as a wholesome you can transfer from one memory to another memory location from one memory locations to one set of memory locations to another set of memory locations this is said to be your multiple load store instructions okay that is used for block transfer this is used for block transfer this is your second classification and coming to your third classification, this is your swap instruction. Swap instruction, you know already about your swap instruction in case of 8051. It's simply exchange of data between your memory and your uh, uh, register. So, the exchange of data can be a byte or a word. Okay, you can be, it can be a word or a byte. Okay, this is your uh, classification of load store instruction. And today in this lecture, we are going to focus only on the single register transfer instruction single register transfer instruction namely like that it will be used for transferring a byte or to transfer a half word or to transfer a word okay 
if I want to do uh, 5 bytes of data uh, to be if uh, I need to transfer 5 bytes of data, 6 bytes of data using the single register transfer instructions, uh, I need to use a loop. I need to use a loop. Okay for transferring the data by giving uh, the number of bytes to be transferred as a count and for I uh, need to decrement the count value I have to pick up the data from the memory put it in the register and uh, and then put the uh, register content into the memory again and then decrement your counter likewise I have to go on and on till my counter value is zero okay this is your single register transfer instructions let us go ahead with what are all the instructions that covers under this single register transfer instructions okay so re single register transfer instructions uh, as I already said you can transfer a byte half word or a word okay so transfers boundary aligned word half byte and byte between your memory and your registers we will be using instructions called LDR and SDR instructions and address of the memory location will be given by your base address base address usually you will be giving in your register usually you will be giving in your register and plus or minus you will be having your offset plus or minus you will be having your offset your offset will be 1 for your byte and 2 for your half word and 4 hash 4 this already you know hash 4 4 memory locations is used for storing your 32 bit hash 4 for your word and uh, coming to your addressing mode, addressing mode, it, it is nothing but based on the method of providing your offset. You have different types of addressing modes here, namely your register addressing modes. This is already we have discussed and an immediate addressing mode. If I am giving the address, the base address in the register and or uh, that is uh, what it is called as if the register contains offset uh, that is said to be register addressing. If you are giving an immediate value as the offset that is said to be an immediate addressing and scale addressing you will be using shift operation LSL2, uh, LSL1 like that you will be giving uh, scaled addressing here. The general syntax for your uh, uh, single register transfer instructions are you have an opcode that is your load or your store and conditions you know your conditions your uh, you will be checking or all your status flags uh, and your type uh, meaning either you are going to uh, transfer a word or a half word or a signed half word or a signed byte okay or a signed byte that uh, these are all the types and we know rd is the destination register rn is the base register and you may have along with the rn you can give an offset this offset may be hash 4 or it can be lsl uh, 2 or uh, um, RSL uh, um, 2 whatever okay either right shift or left shift okay so RN you have an uh, offset address or that is your I mean it is not the offset address RN you will be having a base address you will be having your base address so single register transfer instructions uh, the addressing modes I am giving the example you have four different addressing modes as I have discussed in the previous slide which is nothing but the register addressing mode the second one is immediate addressing mode with offset third one is immediate addressing fourth one is scale, scaled addressing all these four addressing modes the examples I have given by using only load instructions the same thing can be made available by using the store instruction also so LDR R0, R1, R2 the meaning is add up, add the R1 content and R2 content because this has the base address R1 plus R2 the resultant address go to the resultant address whatever ad, uh, value that you are having in the resultant address pick that value and put it in your register or not okay so if whatever register content value for let me take it as r1 as 0, 0, 0, 2, for example i'm taking and r2 as 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 2, uh, 4 i'm taking so the content if i add it will be 0, 0, 0, 006 go to the memory location 0006 0, 0, 0, uh, if the data available is 33 pick that data 33 okay it is an unsigned number assume that the, it is an unsigned number pick that uh, data 33 and put in your r0 r0 will be you will be having 4 bytes so 0 uh, automatic sign extension is possible so 0, 0, 0033h will be saved in your uh, LDR I mean R0 register will be saved in your R0 register this is your register addressing mode and LDR R0 comma R1 uh, what is your R, uh, R1 R1 is 0002 go ahead with your 0002 if I am having as in 0002 if I am having 11 0002 if I am having 11 instead of 33 you will be saving 11 here yeah. 
and next one is uh, uh, immediate addressing r1 comma 4 r1 comma 4 indicates uh, add your r1 value plus 4 okay whatever r1 plus 4 uh, it is 6 again again 33 will be loaded in your L, uh, r0 register now here uh, this and all we have discussed already in your addressing mode go ahead with your addressing modes and go and see the basic operation of left shift so left shift by 2 bit position so if uh, it is a 2 bit position uh, left means it is similar to multiplication it is similar to multiplication 2 bit positions left okay so it is similar to 2 power 2 so multiply by 4 multiply r2 content by 4 and then multiply r2 content by 4 and then the resultant multiplied value add that resultant multiplied value with r1 and go to that value for example see r1 is 2 r2 is 4 what are we need to left shift r2 by 2 so multiply this 4 into 2 so for example 8 uh, let me all talk about decimal i am not going to confuse with hexadecimal so this is 8 and this is 2 okay this is 2 add these two so resultant is 10 is 0 a according to the address so go ahead with the ten, uh, 0 a okay 0 0 0 a whatever data let it be 44 pick the data and put it in your r naught register now your r naught register will be 44h okay will be 44h and the same thing here load register with immediate addressing uh, the uh, format is given here okay uh, format is given here um, so register addressing immediate addressing with offset 0 because here you are not having any offset and uh, immediate addressing okay immediate addressing you will be having uh, uh, giving only the uh, here you have immediate addressing with offset 0 this is also immediate addressing uh, the register content value plus offset value and this is said to be your scaled addressing this is said to be your scaled addressing so you have four types i have explained only with the load uh, instructions similarly you will be having for the store instructions keep in mind the sign extension and the zero extension is possible only in your load instructions and next thing is your indexing method okay in your load and store instructions you have this indexing pre index post index this also we have discussed uh, in uh, while we uh, we have dealt with the uh, addressing modes the pre indexed so the for the pre indexed instruction uh, this is the instruction format you have an opt code condition type type you know it is your signed byte uh, uh, or signed word half word or uh, your uh, unsigned byte and word and uh, uh, the type rd rn offset okay and uh, pre indexed with write back you have an exclamation mark this also we have uh, we have described in the previous lectures okay and uh, we, and we have done a program also and post indexed also we have seen okay let us see the difference between pre indexed post index etc again for the load instructions okay so pre index in the sense if it is ldr rd comma rn comma n okay rd comma rn comma n add rn plus n okay rn plus n go to that memory location pick the content and put it in rd but don't update the value of rn don't update the value of rn okay that is it to be pre index okay coming to post index coming to post index see ldr rd comma rn comma n so what you need to do is first move the content whichever is pointed by rn later after moving the content add this rn plus n and update the value of rn rn plus n update the value of rn, uh, RN that is said to be post index okay and what is this uh, said to be pre index with write back okay pre index with write back so pre index with write back will always be followed by an exclamation symbol see here rn plus n rn plus n will be added okay will be added and it will be given to your rd go to that memory location pick the content put it into your rd and also update your rn and also update your rn okay that is your pre index with write back this is your indexing method okay uh, these are some of the examples see here it is uh, ldr r0 comma rn plus 4 with an exclamation this is pre index with uh, uh, 
uh, right back uh, so for example if uh, my r1 is 0 0 0 2 let me take it uh, and uh, uh, plus 4 i need to add so 0 4 and the result into 0 0 0 6 uh, let me have in 0 6 again 33 so r0 will be 33 after the execution of this instruction okay and now here r0 is r0 ldr r0 comma r1 plus uh, r1 comma r2 so let it be r1 is uh, 0 2 r2 let me take it as uh, 0 0 0 1 so, 0, 2 plus 0, 1 is 0, 0, 0, 3, the resultant value. Go to 0, 0, 0, 3, this is 0, 3. Let me have 11 in this location. Pick that 11 and put it in your register, R0. R0 will be 11. And here, it is R1, R0, comma, R1. Comma, R2. Okay. So, here, see here, first, whatever uh, the content that is pointed out by R1, uh, R1 is 0, 2. Let me have in 0, 2, uh, 5, okay. 0, 2 is 5. In that 5 will be moved. R0 will be equal to 5 first. R0, uh, because R1 is 2, 2 in the 2, memory location 2. In the 2, memory location 2, I have 5. I am moving that 5 value into R0 register. After that, what I am going to do is, uh, post index means you need to update this value. Uh, update in the sense, R2, what is your R2? R2 is 1, R2 is 1. Left shift by 4, it means that 2 power 4. 2 power 4 is 32. Okay, 2 power 30, uh, 4 is 32. And sorry 2 power 4 is 16 so multiply r2 content by 16 so 16 into 1 will give you 16 only will give you 16 only so uh, that 16 so now go to the memory location uh, it's not memory location so now r2 value will be left shifted now it is 16 so after left shifting put that in put that in add that in r1 so now now your r2 value after left shifting what is the value it is 16 it is 16. What is your R1 now? R1 is already 0, 0, 0, 2. Now, this is 0, 0, 16. Okay, 16 is nothing but F. In decimal, if I am writing it is 0, 0, 0, F. So, F plus 2. Okay, F plus 2. So, F plus 2 is nothing but 0, 0, uh, 0, 0, 1, 1 in case of your hexadecimal so go to the location 0 0 1 1 and uh, let me have 0 0 1 1 uh, 55 h uh, 55 h okay uh, we are not going to pick the value uh, from the uh, register content whichever is pointed 0 0 1 1 we are going to update only the value now your r1 will be equal to 0 0 1 1 okay 0 0 1 1 okay and uh, this is nothing but see here this uh, till now we have uh, done all with uh, a double word now this is a byte ldr load register with a byte load register with a byte okay r7 comma r6 comma hmm, hash minus 1 uh, exclamation mark means pre index with write back so first uh, r6 value let it be some value either 5 or 4 whatever uh, subtract that value uh, 5 means minus 1 it is 4 okay and uh, go to that uh, uh, memory location, pick the content and put it in R7, okay. And after that, uh, the value is also updated. Again, R6 will be R6 minus 1, okay. And I am dealing only with the load instructions. The same thing, you need to uh, do the reverse operation in case of store, okay. I don't want to confuse, that is why I am uh, I'm, uh, discussing only with the load instructions. So, with this, uh, let me write a program to perform block transfer of data. The data in the sense, uh, let us transfer half word from one memory location to another memory location. Okay. Uh, we, let us do this program in the queue. Okay. This is a program. This is a program. So, here I am going to do the uh, block transfer and uh, this is your area and uh, okay this is the uh, program as i said already and uh, so you are uh, you are going to write the program in your code memory uh, that is said to be your area code memory read only memory area is an assembly directive we are going to use this portion uh, a, a certain portion of your uh, 
read only memory for writing this code an entry is a point it, it tells your compiler that this is the starting line of your program so this is your counter i'm going to uh, move five half words namely 1 2 3 4 5 five half words from one block to another block okay so let it be uh, first block from the first block to the second block and entry i am setting down the counter to 10 because uh, this is 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 this is a decimal value so i am giving uh, hash 10 simply hash 10 will be your decimal value and uh, uh, decimal value means of so 10 bytes of data i am going to transfer otherwise it is said to be five half words and LDR first uh, first save the data save the data the first block see DCW it is said to be define constant uh, your word meaning your half word okay huh? the, that is said to be your uh, word it's not half word it is word Okay, so now uh, this is a byte, this is a uh, word. Right, so now you are going to say, uh, give a half word, uh, define constant your word. So 25, 35, 34, 56, 34, 51, 1, 2, 3, 4, 2, 2, 1, 2. And uh, with a comma, I am going to say this in consecutive memory location. That uh, memory location, I am assigning it as F block. And that load register R1, get the um, uh, memory location of your F block into your R1 register. And uh, this data, you are going to transfer to your uh, read-write memory. Read-write memory, you are going to transfer the data into your read-write memory. So, define your word to be 0. Okay. Define your uh, word to be 0 ok so now dc w it to be 0 and end statement now get the second block uh, uh, address in your r2 register first uh, get your uh, um, whatever data that is pointed out by r1 get it by uh, get it by using your r3 from your r3 And increment by one cursor position, increment by one cursor position and then uh, uh, then uh, now you are loading the register, then you need to store the register uh, content into another memory location that is pointed out by R2. So, R3 content, now you have the content in R3, put that in R2, put that in R2 and then go ahead. Okay, again increment this also because uh, two memory location consecutively you have to increment. Okay. Uh, one, you need to pick the data and you have to put the data and increment this pointer, increment this pointer also. Okay, that is what you here you are incrementing your pointers. Okay, and then subtract the value R0, comma, hash 1. Okay, subtract your value by 1. You are going to transfer 10, uh, uh, 10 uh, bytes, right, or uh, uh, 10 half words. So, you have... Uh, branch not equal one once this is uh, equal to uh, zero once this is reduced to zero so branch until this is reduced to zero or not the counter value is reduced to zero you have to do the operation again and again otherwise come out and stop the operation and stop the operation this is a program the same program you are going to do it in the and i need to discuss uh, i need to tell one thing to you and uh, uh, nibble is nothing but four bits Okay, I will refresh once. Byte is nothing but 8 bits. Word is nothing but 2 consecutive bytes. Which is nothing but 16 bits. Meaning uh, half word. Half word is 2 consecutive bytes, 16 bit. And a word is 4 consecutive bytes, that is 32 bits. 
so register can store a word and uh, double word is 8 consecutive bytes 64 bits see i have already decoded and kept uh, uh, in the view, um, I am going to pick up two uh, memory windows, uh, one for your ROM and uh, uh, and another for your uh, uh, RAM. And we are going to transfer from the ROM memory to uh, data from ROM memory to RAM memory. Uh, ROM memory is from 0x to 0. I am taking uh, uh, this uh, 4, uh, 5 uh, data. Okay, half of data 2, 5, 3, 5, 3, 4, 5, 6, C. Uh, uh, it is stored in the little Indian format uh, 3, 5 first, 2, 5 second and 5, 6 first and 3, 4 second. Like that consecutively it occupies uh, the, uh, it is a half word, right? It is consecutively occupying. And... Uh, now uh, I am uh, taking, uh, so 5 into 2, 10, uh, so that is why I took 10 here. So let me uh, run step by step. First, uh, my R0 is taking 10, this is 0A. And uh, then my R1 is 20. See, the first address of your uh, row memory is 20, where your 35 resides. And R2 will uh, pick up the second block of address, which is nothing but your uh, uh, RAM memory. So that is 4000, uh, that is your, uh, this memory, okay. And uh, um, let me execute that one by one. See the first data in your R3 that is being picked up, uh, 2535, it is being picked up and it is being stored here, okay, stored here. And see here sign extension is done. It's a positive number, so all are filled by 000. zero, zero. So... And uh, increment, uh, this is incremented by 1 only. That is how I have given here. So, see, 3525 is stored here. Look here, 3525 is stored. Okay. So, increment 1 by 1 and uh, it will loop again and again. The data has changed to 3456. 3456 is stayed here. And again, increment your pointer. One by one. R1 and R2 both are pointers. Okay. One pointing uh, your room and another pointing your RAM. So now again, so as I said, the R1 will be pointing your room, R2 will be pointing your RAM. Okay. So, increment it again and again such that uh, you will be storing the next data as 3451 and 3451 is fed uh, inside and uh, again increment it. And uh, 1234 is saved as 3412, 3412 and the last is 2212. So, that will be saved as uh, little Indian format 1, 2, 2, 2. Okay. Look here. See 1, 2, 2, 2. So, all the data is being transferred from uh, the uh, row memory to your RAM memory. See, one more thing I need to tell you here is I am loading this LDRH. See, I am go going to load uh, H means uh, half word. Okay. Store H. Here I am using STR H. Not uh, simply R and R as like your word. Okay. Half word I am going to represent it by H. Okay. Okay. I hope you understand this. With this I will stop uh, today. We have dealt with your uh, first classification of your load and store instruction. This is nothing but single register load transfer instruction. Load or store memory transfer instruction. Okay. Hmm? Memory transfer instruction. And uh, the next uh, uh, block, uh, block transfer as well as swap we will see in the consecutive lectures. Thank you.